Students and athletes in Iowa are struggling with the recent death of their high school football coach who was allegedly gunned down by a former player. 58-year-old Ed Thomas died early yesterday after being shot in front of students in the weight room of the high school he coached at for 34 years. Former player Mark Becker is accused of shooting him. Becker had been admitted to a psychiatric ward just days before. Members of the community honored Thomas yesterday with a candlelight vigil. Emily Price has more on the shooting. There were several people in there that witnessed this. A new red and white barn not far from the football field is now a crime scene. Police say coach Ed Thomas was inside weightlifting with students when a former player, number 68 Mark Becker, walked in and shot the coach several times with a handgun. The superintendent says 30 students watched it happen. One sophomore inside told me they hid behind the weights so they wouldn't get shot. Obviously is, is not a good scene. Um, a, a dramatic event occurred in front of a lot of people today. Um, obviously, that's something that's going to have to be dealt with now. No physical injuries to students, but the emotional scars may last forever. I didn't believe it at first when I first heard it, but it's, I, don't even, I don't even know what to say. It's, it just leaves, leaves a person speechless because he's such a good guy to everybody and cares a lot about everybody. It was unbelievable. I didn't, like he said, I didn't even know it was real. If I could explain why things like this happen, um, I guess I would be... A far better man than I am. I have no way to explain this, uh, understand it. The superintendent called in crisis counselors and students called on each other. A lesson Coach Thomas taught the town one year ago when an EF5 tornado destroyed half of Parkersburg. I can't express the uh, feeling in the pit of my stomach. This is your life. And for our kids, you know, in our community. Uh, and we've got such a tremendous community here. And uh, it's, it's that way because of the people here. Mr. Thomas was an emotional man. Um, I think he taught our young people, especially the boys, that it's okay to show emotions. It's okay to admit that you love somebody, that you're sad. There's been many a nights that I thank God that I'm still alive to be here. Thank you for these young men, Lord. As Coach Thomas led the school's recovery and the comeback of his team, he further cemented his status as town hero and football legend. It's just going to be a big loss for everyone in this town. It's not really going to be the same for football season. One thing that uh, Coach Thomas always told the kids is when things are tough, whether that's in a game or in your life, um, try to take one step forward. And then if you're having a hard time making another step, look to a teammate. Becker's charged with first-degree murder. Police say they're unsure of a motive. Thomas helped coach four current NFL players, including Green Bay Packers' Aaron Campman.